The Saints and a lot of their fans are ready to book a trip to Atlanta for the Super Bowl after yesterday's impressive 48-7 win over the Philadelphia Eagles. Joining us now from Skype from his mom's kitchen in Houston <laughs> is <laughs> WLTV.com columnist and host of the Saints Happy Hour broadcast, Ralph Marlboro. Thanks for joining us. Uh, first of all, in the past two weeks, the Saints have scored 99 points. That's incredible. It is incredible. And Eric, I just want to say, Saints fans, we are living our best life. We are the 1% of football fans. But I want to thank Malcolm Jenkins because people ask me everywhere I go and on the internet, they say, Ralph, who's the best team in the NFL? Who's the number one team? And Malcolm Jenkins, when the Saints scored that touchdown to make it 48 to 7, he officially made the Saints the number one team because he was holding up his middle finger to Sean Payton, telling him <laughs> the Saints are not the Saints are number one. The Saints are number one. Did you and see so when he came? To the, did you see when he came to the sidelines at the end? He threw his helmet down. Yes, the Saints. Sean Payton has gone from breaking fired fire alarms to making players so mad. They're telling him the Saints are number one. I thought it was, I thought it was fantastic. Eric, the only team in America that has more boring fourth quarters than the Saints is Alabama. Our biggest yeah. question in the fourth quarter as Saints fans is, why is Sean Payton still playing all the good players when we're up 30, 30 points? Because it's, he can? It's the best life. It's the best, it's the best life. I love that the Saints stunt all over the rest of the NFL. And if the rest of the NFL, they don't like the Saints scoring all these points, they can just stop them. Well, and the thing that's so much fun to watch this team this year is Drew has so many weapons he can throw to, and they all have incredibly good hands. They catch anything. It is. And the, the Saints, Traquan Smith, he hadn't been doing anything for a while. He had 157 yards. Uh, so they have other players that are doing fantastic. The thing that's amazing about Drew Brees, Eric, and I want to throw this out, is his completion percentage that he's completing NFL passes at, he does that better than LeBron James shoots free throws in basketball. Brees is like 75% now completing passes. LeBron James is like 74% shooting free throws, which is just, it's ridiculous. It seems like it's a video game. I it's know. It's so unreal. But, but yeah, you know, when you talk about elite quarterbacks, he is in a league of his own. I mean, he really is. He's, he's, like, he's mastered the craft of being able to put the ball wherever he wants. And I have to say, though, before, before we go, that the Saints play Thursday. I have never seen Saints fans so excited about a football game. We get to play Thursday night against the team we hate the most, yep. the Atlanta Falcons, and we get to crush their season and their playoff dreams uh, and remind them that they lost a 25-point lead in the Super Bowl. If the Saints win 28-3, to I will believe, <laughs> I will believe that, that we're be all awesome. dead. That, that we're be all awesome. dead. That we're all dead and we're in heaven together celebrating football. Well, I still want to see Breeze and Brady in the Super Bowl in Atlanta. Atlanta hates both these teams. The storyline <laughs> would be incredible. It would it would be amazing. And with Saints fans, we'll just take over Atlanta. It'll be it'll become New Orleans yeah. East. <laughs> That'll be the final dig into them. All right, uh, there's only three uh, nine and one teams in the NFL left. Two of them play tonight. Who do you root for? I think you got to root for Kansas City, right? You got to root for the AFC team so we can have home field. Uh, in the NFC for the Saints, but I know you said you root, you, you want to root the Rams to win because you want to secure that MVP for Drew Brees. So yes, he deserves tough. it. And then, and then got, I, so, somebody else can beat the Rams later on. I don't know, though. The Rams, I think they play junior junior colleges and high schools the rest no, of the year. No, they play the Steelers, so the Steelers will, <laughs> will be rooting for uh, Ben that, that night. Well, maybe so. All it, right. They got... I just want home field. I want to be able to That's go to the We all NFC want that. Champion. We all want that. All right, Ralph, thank you very much. It's a short turnaround for the Saints, as Ralph just mentioned. Get ready for their next opponent, the Atlanta Falcons. They'll play Thursday night. Thanksgiving right, guys, night thanks. kickoff is at 720 inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. That's going to be a great Thanksgiving Day night.